The Tai Tam Reservoirs, a picturesque hiking area in Hong Kong and an important part of the city's water supply with a storage capacity of 8.3 million cubic meters. Access to clean drinking water is not evenly distributed around the world. According to the World Health Organization, more than 2 billion people live in water-stressed countries, a matter expected to worsen with climate change and population growth. In more arid parts of the world, technologists are racing to come up with solutions to generate drinkable water where it's scarce. Tunisia, Africa's northernmost country, flanked by the Mediterranean Sea and comprising vast swaths of desert, including that of Tatawina, the inspiration for the desert planet from Star Wars. Much of this country is arid and semi-arid, which means access to clean water is a perennial issue. According to UN experts, only 57% of Tunisians have access to safely managed drinking water. In Tunis, the country's capital and namesake, one company is trying to create water from thin air. Basically, with no water, uh, we can't survive. Uh, there's no more life. We're trying to find innovative solutions for access to drinking water in the region because it will become more and more difficult in the, in the future. Mohamed Ali Abed is the chief technology officer and a co-founder of Cumulus Water, a Tunisian startup formed in 2021. With his background in engineering, Abed says he was motivated to move back to his native Tunisia from France to help solve the issue of water access. I've lived for a quite long period in the Middle East uh, between the Emirates and Lebanon, and I've seen people struggling to access to water. So I've seen that it's an issue that affects millions of people. The issues of food and water scarcity often go hand in hand, says Filipino-American food advocate Leia Lizarondo. In the world, about 890 million people are food insecure. 90% of those are also water insecure. There's water scarcity. We take for granted, you know, when we turn on the faucet and brush our teeth, that there's flowing water. But all, over 700 million people don't have access to enough water. So any technology that can correct that, that can help alleviate that, is certainly an innovation that we need at this time. The innovation at Cumulus comes in the form of an atmospheric water generator, which mimics the process of condensation. The process basically reproduces the dew phenomena. So the dew happens during nighttime where temperatures go down. And when temperatures go down, they go below dew point and makes the water condensate naturally. So what we do is technically we cool down the air below dew point to collect the humidity and collecting the humidity by condensating the water just by cooling down the air. This year, Cumulus teamed up with local designer Zoher Ben Janet to come up with a design for the device, one inspired by the amphoras of Greek antiquity and coated with a glossy white. The company says its machine can produce between 20 to 30 liters of drinking water each day. So the air comes in through here, goes into the exchanger that is then cooled down and water is created in the water collector. And then the dry air is heated up again and leaves through the back. Now taking you to our latest prototype, and this machine is gonna be the one that enters production. This thing is much more compact, much better looking, and is able to create the quantity of water required. The water is filtered, the water is mineralized, and much more importantly, and as well, uh, you can control this machine by a click of a button on your phone through the app. Abit says the company has ambitions to supply drinking water using its technology to one million people in five years time, starting in Northern Africa and Southern Europe. While the technology is still being tested and certified, Cumulus hopes to start shipping out their devices later this year. We are looking into several use cases. It goes from the hotel that, ha that wants to get rid of bottled mineral water, of the plastic waste, to villages uh, in Tunisia and other parts of the world where people don't have access to safe drinking water. Cumulus is just one of dozens of companies working on atmospheric water generators. For example, there's the hydro panels produced by Source in Dubai. Experts say high upfront costs for this tech may be a deterrent. Cumulus is pricing its machines at around 3,000 US dollars, which they say is worth the savings in bottled water. 
for Cumulus. It's a bid to help make good on the human right to safe drinking water and securing that right for future generations.